Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Wolf, and I'm casting a game between the Purple Zerg, Kangaskhan, Kanga, the good guy, and his opponent, Green Protoss, Bumblebee Tuna. Bumblebee Tuna! I've never seen that movie, but my friend quotes it a lot, and he sent me a link to see it. So the one is just I start howling at the end of my videos. So, for this game, it's too underway because there's a good amount of action, and I definitely have a lot of things to critique you on, Kanga. This is a game where I'm going to tell you a lot of things... Cool, I just got a call. I bet it's from somebody I don't want to talk to. Oh, that's my grandma. She's going to have to wait. Sorry, grandma. <sighs> she, I like waited 30 minutes to cast this game. I'm just like, uh, I'm kind of not feeling, I don't really feel like casting too much today, guys. Quiet, you're really loud. I, uh, I don't really feel like casting too much today. I actually really feel like playing a lot of New Vegas today, but that's probably because I got my science skill to 100 and I didn't waste a single skill point. You know, I used just books and stuff, so I'm cool. Anyway, before this game gets too underway, replays, guys, I have started to delete. <laughs> I wasn't deleting things in my inbox, and so I had like 500 things. And so I don't really have that many replays. I do have a lot because there's a tournament that I was request. Well, I just said I was going to cast, so it's not like they request. Like, Ice Fang, we need you to cast this. We need you to cast this game, okay? Okay, I'll cast it. Okay, thank you. Time Look at that. There we go. Once again, the Hourglass of Defeat is soon. But just so you guys know, for future reference, if you send me replays, send me just one replay. Because I know that you can make the discretion on which one's the best. You guys are like, I sent two replays, I'm not sure which one's the best. And I said, well, I'm pretty sure you can you can make the choice yourself. So I, I do bet that you have a good idea what the best is. And it helps me out quite a bit, because I don't, I don't want to look at a lot of replays by the same person at the same time. So... Also, don't send me a lot of replays in a zip folder. I prefer them just normal, so... Expand going down. I don't know. I missed that when I watched it at 8 times speed, so... Hello, probe. Anyway, um, I guess 8 times speed does happen quite a bit fast. There we go. Interesting choice here. Protoss player, Tuna, Bumblebee Tuna, decides to block off the ramp. And, I mean, I'm not... Just, I'm spoiling it for you guys. Oh no, he's gonna block it off. Unless he's just wasting money on pylons by the ramp. Yeah, uh, yeah, replays, guys. Just make sure you send me one. Don't send him in a zip folder. I don't know why you canceled that, Kanga. I can't, I can't figure out why you canceled that. You should just let it go up. There's, no, there's no reason to worry about canceling it. It's not like you're in any danger. Your scouting drone should let you know that. He's like, dude, I want some gas. Let me get some, okay? If you see, he wasted a lot of money on that cybernetics core. Or not, not the cybernetics, on the pylons before the cybernetics, you are completely safe to expand. I mean, this is three zealots. A big, it's, a, you know, a gateway and a cybernetics. His tech is so delayed, he'd be attacking you with one gate zealots at the best right now. And that's what he's, like, kind of doing. Just expand. Don't be set astray by these pylons. I mean, I, I know you want to take I know you want to take them down. It's not like you want them there to slow you down. But don't worry about it. Just expand. Because it takes a long time to get an expand up. That's why... Fast expansions are like a real strategy that's been thought out so much. Is because if I get a sh if I get an expansion, you know, 10 seconds earlier, that's a whole 10 seconds my opponent isn't attacking me that the other one could be being built. So it's a really big spiraling effect to expand. That is your biggest mistake here is that you just didn't expand. The zealot wouldn't be able to do anything. I know you don't want to sit there and watch your hatchers get stabbed, but that zealot could be taken out by four or six slings pretty easy. So just expand. Don't worry about it, brother. Um, personally, I'm not a very big fan of pylon blocking. I don't feel it's that effective. Blocking a base off with a pylon is way better, so... And then, of course, he takes down his own pylon, so he's already wasted a lot of resources. He's got another... So he's got Stalker coming out. He's getting Warp Gate. He's pretty much really far behind Kanga. You're actually, at this point, you are doing just fine. You could, you could win easy, but I think you're kind of in a bad mindset right now. Remember, these pylons aren't cheap, guys. It's not like you can start off the game putting down three overlords or three supply depots, so don't forget that... <laughs> Poor Zergi. Look at him. He's just floating in space. I do look at me run. I'm so fast. Yeah. Uh, pylons are expensive when you have, like, four of them going down, so... Personally, I thought you didn't expand yet. And so if he blocks off your ramp with pylons, just do, like, a seven roach rush. Change your mindset to seven roach rush. Uh... If he if you did expand before the pylons going down, then he's really not doing what he needs to do. The thing about this, I mean, you got the rocks right here. Just let us let a zealot hit at your 
uh, hatchery, make, like, you know, this much zerglings, take out the rocks, and then go take out his attacking force and just win with zerglings. There's not much to this. Uh, but de he denied your expansion, not in, a f in an effective way, but he still denied it, so... Mm, so currently you're at one base versus one base, and as Zerg you don't want to be equal bases because you can support more bases, you don't want to be even. A little bit of macro fail overall because you got some oh, was it? supply blocks, so not too bad. Uh, you, you macro failed, but it's not like you're just sitting there idle, so different. Differences, differences. Zergling is going up. They don't even have speed yet. That's really big. Speed is really, really good. I heavily suggest it in every single matchup almost all the time. 100 gas is expensive, but I mean, if my charge cost 100 at 100, it was at the beginning of the game, I would get it. Probe is fighting. Uh, great force field placement, warping in a couple more zealots. You can't fight here, but just go on to the other side. Remember, Blistering Sands, uh, these rocks are easily Zerg favored. Like, blocking up the ramp here? He not do anything. Just go break the rocks. Who cares? Right here? What's he going to do about it? He's only got, you know, this much. Just warp in, morph in more Zerglings and take him out. So, uh, I think it's a little bit of mindset, right? Look at that macro fail. I mean, you're doing great on top of your macro, and he's got 1,200 minerals built up, 400 gas. Before I get too far, talking about how bad this player is, he was a diamond player. I think he played Terran and he's with Protoss, so he made the right decision overall. Or something like that. He got demoted back to Platinum to play in the tournament. Load of crap, boy. And force field, I assume he's paying... Yes. But he... Oh, no. If he misses the force field, take advantage of that and just run in. You definitely want to hit those workers. I mean, that's a lot of mining time you can lose. So, And of course, when you do damage to Protoss units, you got to make sure you take them down. Otherwise, they'll come back stronger than ever. And so, big mistake, Kanga. Uh, every race this applies to every one of you, you want to expand while attacking. I mean, there's no reason not to take advantage of that, unless you think you can win with the units that would be worth an expansion. So, I mean, if you had the roaches there at the time, if you use this, if you had really, really good micro, and you're able to kind of use the zerglings to keep... <sighs> my nose started burning. <laughs> If you use the Zerglings to kind of keep the Protoss player at bay, defensive, moving back and forth, and then you wait for reinforcements, then it could work, fine. But, uh, it's, this is, you should have expanded by now. One base Zerg play is not something you want to be on at 10 minutes in the game. Even the Protoss player is expanding right now. If you're behind an expansion, you, you pretty much need to destroy him right now. And so, I think your mistakes are kind of numerous at this point. You can see what's up. You, you see... There's a lot of larvae here, which is definitely not where you want to be. You want to have three larvae maxi, maximum. Ooh. And you also haven't really embraced your tech that much. I mean, you have layer tech, but you haven't used it yet. So, of course, he hasn't really done the same thing. You can see that he's just he's kind of going for an interesting build. I like to think that you can play Protoss as Zerg or Terran. And like a Zerg or Terran mindset, you can also do the opposite. The same thing with every other race. Sorry, there's a plane flying overhead. <laughs> I don't know why he's vacuuming up. Richard, stop vacuuming. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, like, if you built seven warp gates off of one base, you can't support it, but you can warp in an entire army whenever you need it. And if you fast expand... I kind of did that, actually, for a while. The Zerg-based Protoss play. After I played Protoss for a while, I played around with Zerg and learned a little bit more about macro. And then I switched back to Pro... Well, I didn't ever switch, you know, officially to Zerg. I was always Protoss, but after I played around with it, I switched, I, I went back to Protoss playing, and then I tried out some other new I build ideas, I just did like a 14, 15 Nexus, I don't care, and I put down like 4 warp gates and then 8 warp gates, and I just warped in stalkers with blink. It was like, who gives a shit what you're doing, I'm just going to out macro you. It was pretty funny to watch player. It was a gold level strategy though, so I wouldn't suggest trying it without working out some kinks. Pretty, okay, not the not best, probably one more stalker would be good, but you are pretty heavy on the... Uh, now why can't you just beat him? Go kill him. Are you are you a pansy, Kanga? From what I've seen, you're not a pansy. You're a big, strong man. So, just fuck his ass. There you go. Who cares? There we go. Yeah. I know there's photon cannons, but who cares? Just kill him. Go kill him. Dude, stop running away. Stop being a bitch and go kill him. I, When you see his army, you guys have to assume that he's not doing as well as he made it look he's doing. I, I know that he could be. Like, this could be a third of his army and the other two thirds is coming down the ramp to kick your ass but you can't make the you gotta make the assumption that either he's doing better than he looks or worse than he looks because you probably don't see exactly what he's doing constantly so uh, why wouldn't you assume he's doing worse than he is it's like oh I'm gonna assume he's doing better than me 
Well, that's good for his morale. I'm glad I'm winning. Kill him. Just go fucking kill him, Kanga. Don't run away. Kill him. Probably not anymore with this numbers. And so, so you see the Protoss player has definitely put himself in the lead. You could have definitely won there with that push if you had devoted to him a little harder. Uh, or just went for the back door first. I would have probably suggested that you, your scouting is probably a little fail right now. So you're looking to... Yeah, I did it right this time, guys. You don't know what he's doing at all. So that's probably your main reason for that is... You should have sent a Zergling to the front door to check for an expansion. Oh, I got a message. Cool. Uh, that's what that noise was. You should have sent a Zergling to check the front door expansion, and then if you saw cannons, you could assume he's going to expand or he did expand. And then this is what you need to do is attack the back door. So, uh, moving in through the back here, I like I watched this replay and I was don't don't worry about attacking pylons. Hit the workers. Hit the work. I mean, this pylon's not doing doing anything. This Buildings can still warp in despite there being no pylon power, which is kind of interesting. I mean, units can't do that, so... Uh, you definitely have more units than he does. You're a lot more deadly. I mean, it's because he has no zealots that your army is more deadly than his is. His is. Snake. I really like Snake. Seaman! I really wanted to say that for you, Kanker, because you're awesome, so... Yeah, just take out his probes. Who gives a shit, man? I mean, you kind of... Uh, I I don't want to tell every player to like over devote, you know. I'm not I'm not trying to tell you guys you should over devote to attacking. But you got these units in, in this base. There's no way you're getting out. Just kill as much shit as you can. It's like you're too focused on little things. Just kill his shit. <laughs> I I'd probably give horrible advice to you. <laughs> you're like, okay, I'll go kill his shit, and then you'll lose like 14 games. Just don't worry so much about the basics you have down Kanga. I mean, you didn't demonstrate them very well in this game, but I know you can do it. You have the basics. Don't worry about that. Just do the game. and let Just do what feels natural, man. Just spread those silver wings and fly in the sky until they turn into gold wings. Yeah. As Raven used to, used to say in our first cast. Really, you know, it's lost real fast. Get that tide. Now, why is the Protoss player easily in the lead? Yeah. That would definitely be it. Protoss player is completely lead. He's got plus one, plus one. He's warping in fresh reinforcements. Uh, you are just building your expansion. So your failures were probably due to freaking out. I mean, I know you're silver and he's platinum or diamond, whatever. It's, uh, don't worry about it. Who cares? Just expand. Just do it. I'm <laughs> I'm sorry if my advice isn't the best. I'm, fl I'm flipping my arm around like a giant dildo, but it's long and long and floppy like a garden hose. <laughs> and it's got hair too. And then, oh my god, it's getting harder. <laughs> That'd be Bert and Ernie sexual. So, and don't want your zerglings engaging in small amounts. Definitely want the whole thing going on there. So, a little bit of micro fail, I suppose. Rotos player, look, I mean, look at the build up. You can take him out. Come on, Kanga, kick his ass. You can do it! Whenever any of you guys feel like you're in a bad position and you're not Protoss, you, can, you can't just go Dark Temple and I hope for the best. Just remember me saying this You can do it! But I just freaking head off! You guys know that's fun. That's a good movie. Oh, see? I like to do my little one. Well, guys, I. I don't know if there's much left of this. Kanga's trying to hold on! Focus fire those sentries. Make them your bitch. That's right. They're expensive sentry bitches. That's right. What a good Kanga you are. Uh, I think Kanga survives this one. But it's kind of close. It's like, when people talk about how bad stalkers are, every time I watch them in a replay, it just never seems that bad. It's like... I, I know that I, I like to theorycraft all the time. It's one of my favorite things to do when I'm just sitting there like a weirdo thinking about StarCraft. I theorycraft all the time. But it just seems like when I watch units play, they don't play like theorycrafting at all. These stalkers, they just beat the roaches. There was no guardian shield. There was no like sentry superpower attack infinite 9000 power. <laughs> they just won. It's just like... I, I mean, the numbers mean something. You should always think about the numbers before you play. But when you're in game, uh, that's my trick, guys. That's how I got into platinum just by playing games. I just play. I don't care. Who cares? 
More stalkers coming in, that means you need more. Da -da 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 -da. Zerglings, force field bad. Heck, poor Zergy. So you're behind a base right now. Behind a base. Probably behind on units realistically. Actually, I want the army tab. Not spending army. Yeah, you're behind on army, behind a base. What can you do? What would you do in this position, I swing? Well, I'd get Dark Templar because I probably lost already. But I'm, you're not me. So, and I'm not Zerg. What would I, what would I do? Well, just like the question, how do I stop him from messing Void Race, stupid poster on the thread? Don't let him mess Void Race. Kango, what would you do in this position? Don't get in this position. I have no doubt that you are, you will become at least a Platinum player pretty easily, so. Don't worry about it, just play. You're, you made a lot of mistakes. This is a game that is a good demonstration of Despite your advantages at certain parts of the game, your disadvantages outweigh them and they, you know, it's like throwing a snowball down a hill. Now you're fighting a gigantic ball of sexual white death hitting you in the face. It's cold and it's warm and gooey, just like wax. Love is not just one to source, passion like a bleeding forest. Our love is true as this garage, I want to lock you in my garage. <laughs> You guys watch that damn video more than you watch my own videos. You're like, dude, check out Ice Fang's channel. He's got this video of a guy climbing on a steed where women will taste his seed. I hate you guys. I hate you all. <laughs> Even in these final moments, you're not doing it anymore, realistically. You're doing fine. It's, like I said, this gigantic ball of death is attacking you, so. So your mistakes, definitely on the beginning level. Your mistakes were at the beginning of the game, and they just spiraled out of control. So don't don't worry about that loss. Your opponent played well. You made mistakes, and they just kept building up. So my biggest advice I could give you is just go fucking kill him. Don't worry about anything. Just go fucking kill him. Kanga, I love you. And there's something else I wanted to say. Something inspirational. You guys, this is it. I got it. Even if it's not that good, I don't care. You guys are going to listen and enjoy it. I don't care what league you're in. The only person holding you back is yourself. You all could be diamonds. My viewers are now diamonds. And with that, I have to say thank you for watching my video. And I'm not going to have just because I'm mean like that. Ha ha ha.